Johnson City planners are expecting lengthy construction on a busy residential road. The city is looking at widening Knob Creek Road north of State of Franklin Road and building a five lane bridge across railroad tracks. Right now, drivers coming from three different directions intersect at a red light leading into a one lane bridge going under those tracks. That, of course, causes a traffic headache. John Janko is live at Knob Creek Road right now. John, how is the traffic there? Ansley, the red lights at this one lane tunnel rather behind me are causing some lengthy backups here on Knob Creek Road. City planners say they understand the frustration here and they're working to implement a major fix. It's going to be an amazing addition to that entire neighborhood to increase traffic flow and to handle the capacity that's growing every day out there. Assistant City Manager Randy Trivett says Johnson City is preparing dramatic changes to Knob Creek Road. That comes after years of complaints about the one-lane tunnel. It's a huge bottleneck uh, that people try to avoid the best they can. The city's preliminary plan is to stop using the tunnel by widening Knob Creek to five lanes, including an elevated bridge over the railroad. The five lanes would run from the Marketplace Boulevard intersection all the way to Boone's Creek Road. The estimated cost right now almost $100 million. But Trivet says the Tennessee Department of Transportation would pay for it. Our responsibility for that project was to complete the design and to to purchase and gather all the right-of-way easements that we need. TDOT will then manage and, and oversee the construction of the project and put it out to bid and actually pay for the construction. The congestion is already bad, but Tribbett expects that area to be a hotbed for new development. And I feel like that growth's gonna occur out there just because of the availability of the land. But Tribbett says the construction could be finished as late as 2030, after Johnson City produces a design to put on TDOT's three-year plan. That means they could start any time between 2024 or 2027. Johnson City is also widening West Oakland Avenue and Mountain View Road to three lanes in that area, both expected to be completed by early 2025. Increasing the capacity there is going to give a, a small amount of relief on those people who are trying to detour around that bottleneck. Trivet says the city should have the design ready for that five lane bridge by a spring TDOT deadline. City commissioners are also voting on funding the design process for the utilities portions of the project at their meeting Thursday night. Live in Johnson City, John Jenko, News Channel 11.